how to import your contacts into Klaviyo. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can import your contacts within a Klaviyo. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit Klaviyo.com. Then you are simply going to create an account within Klaviyo if you don't have one. But in case you have, simply click on your account right there. And when you click on it, you will see and face the dashboard. The dashboard is very simple and self-explanatory. Nothing is needed to be explained right there. We have here the performance summary. We have the top performing flows that you have created, the recent campaigns, and etc. Right there in the left side menu, we have a lot of options and a lot of items. We have the home campaigns, flows, reviews, and etc. Now, let's go ahead and see how we can add some contacts. It is very easy. Select the audience and it will be a drop down menu right there. We have three sub options, the growth tools, list and segments, and profiles. You can go ahead and visit the growth tools and see here how you can grow your audience by creating or setting up SMS keywords, uh, email marketing campaigns and etc for the list and in segment you are going to create a segment and also a list of contacts it is very easy so you are going to create new like that here we have two options either you go with the create list static list of profiles or create a segment which is a dynamic group based on defined properties now i will go ahead and uh, name my list Right there, I'm going to put, for example, test contacts, contacts, like that. And for the tags, we have only two, either emails or SMS. I'm going with the emails only. You can go with both if you want, but when you finish, you create the list right there. We can create the list, and now we have the contact list. We have the members, the sign up forms, subscribes and preferences page. We have the option to import, and this is very interesting the list growth, engagement, and some settings. Now, I will go ahead a step by step to let you see how you can create or import the contacts. It is very easy. Either you can go with quick add and add manually the email. For example, I will put this email. This is just an email created for the sake of the video. It is a set for an example and it is not used for any personal uses. We have here the first name, last name, the title, organization, phone number, and etc. You can add it manual like that. Click on add profile and it will be added. Or you can go ahead and click on imports and click on import contacts. Right there the contact list should be formatted as a csv and how you can get that csv file it is very easy go to google from google you are going to search for sheets google sheets like that and sign in for google sheets this is the first option and also you can go ahead and create a excel file for example, in my case, I will go ahead and create a, a spreadsheet right there. I'm going with the first case. I'm going to put, for example, first, first name, name like that. And for the second right there, I'm going to put here last name like that. For the third one, we have the, let's say, email. And for the fourth, we are going to put here phone number. Now, everything is set. I'm going back a little bit for Clavio, and we are going to read some of the example. Upload the contacts you want to add to your list. Each contact must include an email address. So we are going to name it right here, email address. And we are going to set it right there, email address with the capital A, like that, double D here, 
and the phone number if you want to add a phone number like that make the format the same as shown on the example and now along with any additional fields you would like to import phone numbers must be supported a format like this one the country code and the phone number so we are going to begin with the phone number i'm going to set here a phone number this is a random phone number for the email address i'm going to put here as an example jack smith as uh, an example only it is not a real email so go ahead and put your own emails last name here or first name smith and the uh, last name is jack like that this is a set so right there we are going to put the plus and uh, no i don't need that but we are going to set it for this one only right there not this case but in the beginning right there so now i am going to export this as a csv file how to do that it is very easy go to file and then we are going to click on download Within download, we have a multiple option, but Microsoft Excel, open document, PDF, web page, comma separated values, which is the CSV and tab separated values. Go ahead and select comma separated values. Now, wait for a few seconds until the file will be getting ready. And from the Clavio, we are going to drag and drop that file. Go ahead to the downloads drag your file right there to be uploaded wait for a few seconds and as you can see the import is ready you can go ahead and import any case that you have set the csv column we have the first name it is a, a link to the clavio profile property which is the first name last name also the email address and the phone number you can go ahead and see that the data type is text and the sample data is the preview of each column. Now everything is mapped. And if something is not mapped right there, you are going to change it as you like. For example, if it didn't read first name and email address, you are going to map it manually right there. And when you finish, you are going to click on next. Right there, you have two options. Yes, I have updated or update a subscription status for all imported contact you subscribed no i import without updating subscription i'm going to set yes select emails and click on import right there we have the import has been queued for processing we are going to uh, wait for the upload to be uh, set and the file will be soon you can stay on this page or navigate without uh, affecting the uh, import here it will take some uh, import data or make some a little bit of time to analyze all of the data but in my case i have only a simple one so we are going to refresh the page and see if something is going to change and so important so much important thing right there is to wait until the processing is going to be set and when the process is set the members will be added right there in the members list that was very easy thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one